Ben Haz Galactic Girls! What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Kurt 7 here for the review of United defeating, you know what? United smashing, demolishing, embarrassing QPR today, as it should be. Let's be honest, QPR are relegation contenders. We should be smashing uh, teams like QPR. No offense to QPR fans, but seriously, lads, with the money we spent, it should be no surprise what we did or what the way our performance was last. Last night, but anyways, lads, we started off with a 4 4 2. Uh, that's the way Louis Van Hal set up our formation, which was a bit surprising. I thought he was gonna go with three at the back and could work to five at the back, but no, he went with four at the back, which was really surprising. Um, but he reckons it's because of injuries. We don't have Smalling, we don't have Jones, so fair enough to him. But the biggest news, lads, was Val Cal didn't start. I thought he was a guarantee starter. No, Louis Van Hal had different plans. He was on the bench. We had Rooney and Van Persie up front. We had four in the midfield in a diamond. We had Mata up top, Daily Blind in the uh, defensive, uh, at the one that was solid at the rock covering the defense. And we had Herrera and Di Maria on either side of the diamond there. We had Rojo on left back, Raphael back from injury at right back. Then we had Tyler Blackett with uh, Johnny Evans at the back. And of course, David Hayer in goals, lads. And this game, my word, I've been waiting two whole weeks for this game. I was so excited. I tell you what, it did not let me down whatsoever. What a performance today, lads. Mate, there was none of that sideways passing. You know, every time we got the ball, we looked a threat. You know, it wasn't like, oh, we'll, you know, we'll pass to Fletcher. All right, we'll go back to defense to Jones. All right, we'll, no, 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 no. There was none of that crap. We, every time we got the ball, Di Maria, he got the ball, and he right, let's be having ya. Mate, drop the shot up, go past two, three defenders, cross a ball in. Mate, it was unbelievable football. Mate, football that we haven't seen in Old Trafford for a long, long, long time. So, it's what happens when you get world-class players. And not just that, lads. Every single time we lost the ball, we worked double hard to get it back. Mate, Ander Herrera, Daly Blin, they worked their socks off today. Uh, in the midfield, mate, making tackles to win the ball back. Mate, it was just an outstanding performance from every single person who played with that United badge on today. Honestly, great performance. But anyways, let's get to the goals. First one come from Angel Di Maria. He had a free kick about 40 yards from the box. He had no intentions of scoring. Put in a low, hard cross. And I tell you what, no one could defend it. And Brad Green was um, out of position. Snuck into the back post. And now Gardin Murray gets his first goal with Old Trafford. And I was buzzing. But not long after that, guys. And Herrera gets his first goal for United as well. Uh, mate played a 1-2 with Mata, and then uh, Rooney laid it off for Ander Herrera, and let Ander Herrera just smashed it from outside the box. Again, went past Brad Graham in the same corner, hard, low, and fast, and great to see Ander Herrera. Man, he played a fantastic game. Not just the passes he played as well, but defensively, he was just rock solid in midfield. This is the midfield that we need. Thank God we got rid of the likes of Tom Cleverley because, mate, and Herrera, he has a big future at United. Anyways, it wasn't even half time yet. Rooney wasn't even done scoring. Some bad, bad, you know what? Some terrible defending from Stephen Cork and Rio Ferdinand to allow, um, and Brad Green as well. Green, mate, he should never ever get beaten on his near post, but somehow Wayne Rooney beat him on his near post, and then it was finally half time. We were 3 0 up. Game over. Really, game over. I couldn't see QPR getting into this game whatsoever. But you know, second half game, we picked up where we left off. You know, Mata was attacking. Mata played, I thought, you know, I think Mata was a bit of a, I wouldn't say an unsung hero, because I definitely think um, he played well. But one Mata, mate, everything he did today was fantastic. And I tell you what, he kept it off with a goal. Should have scored another just before he actually scored the goal. But uh, mate, all oh, the crowd was getting wild for foul cow. Every time he was warming up, the crowd was going nuts. So I was like, bring him on, Louis. Come on, get on, Falcao. But uh, anyways, guys, he finally came on. And uh, unfortunately, he had, he had about just over 20 minutes and couldn't get a goal. But it was great to see Falcao make his debut at Old Trafford. And I tell you what, guys, this was an unbelievable game. We, um, we won 4-0. Mate, I was more impressed about the way... We went about it when we didn't have the ball. I've already mentioned this, mate. That was the biggest thing for me, mate. Because not only did QPR 
we're gonna have the ball. We weren't gonna let them have possession. We weren't gonna let them have, you know, create chances, mate. We got the ball. We got stuck in high. We made beautiful tackles, got the ball back. And I tell you what, Daily Blind, mate, he was the unsung hero. Daily Blind was amazing today. He looks like that player who, are, we are not just me. We all wanted uh, a tour over Vidal in that position. But I tell you what, uh, if Daily Blind could play more matches like he did yesterday, then I don't think we really need um, a tour of Vidal. Even though I would love a tour of Vidal, but that's another story for another time. Man, a lot of a lot of stick from United fans saying that you know, oh, we sold we sold ourselves because we got rid of uh, Danny Wilbeck. Oh, you got no one from the academy. No, 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 no. Did you see Tyler Blackett? Mate, Tyler Blackett, come on the ball. Tyler Blackett, mate, looks really comfortable on the ball. Mate, he, you know, he's only, what, what, three games into his debut at Old Trafford? Mate, Tyler Blackett's got a long future at United. Rojo was fantastic. Raphael, he looked fantastic back from injury. It was great to see him play. Couldn't stick out the 90 minutes. Obviously, you know, he's not fit enough. But, and, and saying that, lads, um, the new signings, and Herrera, fantastic. My man of the match, Ander Herrera. Mate, he was just got stuck in hard. A lot of people's man in the match was Angel de Maria, and I can see why. Mate, oh, mate, Angel de Maria, mate. It is finally good to see a number seven at Old Trafford get the ball running at defenders. And every time he gets the ball, mate, everyone at Old Trafford, mate, in this Trafford end, you can see everyone standing up, rising. What's going on here? Beats two or three players, puts a quality ball in. But I tell you what, mate, Angel Di Maria played a beautiful, beautiful ball for one match up for that last goal. Mate, that through ball he put in was just world class. And even that world class Angel Di Maria played in for Van Persie, which Van Persie couldn't finish. That was amazing too. Van, Robin Van Persie, um, Obviously, he's he's struggling at the minute. Well, he isn't struggling. When Robert Van Persie doesn't get a goal in every two games, that's struggling for Van Persie terms. But other than that, guys, he played a few good passes to Falcao. Falcao almost had a chance right at the end to score. Should have put it underneath Green, but unfortunately, it didn't pay off. Anyways, lads, that's my review against QPR United. We're back. Get in. Like always, lads, please drop a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not subscribed already. Anyways, lads, stay tuned for the next review. We are against Leicester away. Should be a cracking game. Anyways, I'm your boy, Curtis7. Take care and peace.